Welcome to day five of the 30 days to becoming super flexible. We're doing the hamstrings on the first seven days and we're now on day five. So please remember how it works. We do day one stretch again for one minute, day two, day three, day four, and now day five. And day five, I'm gonna first of all show you the stretch so we can go straight into the program. So day five stretch, additional one, is sitting down. I want you to go, if you can, against a wall so you've got support for your back. And then we're gonna basically place one leg out in front of you and two choices. Either you can tuck this leg in and then basically hold the straight leg, lift up and lower down, which also stretches your inner thigh. Or ideally, if you can, slightly more intense, is put your leg over the leg. So that's what we'll do today. So you're now pushing the lower leg to be dead straight. You won't go as far as you'd like to, but then use your hands again to lift up and then lower down. Just nice and gentle holding a very, very strong hamstring stretch underneath. We'll do one side. You may want to loosen off in between a little bit with the hips. And then we put the other leg on top and we lift up tall. Use your hands and you can lower down, keeping as tall a spine as you can. So that's stretch number five. So, as we've done before, grab your phone. We're going to go on to a timer or you can use the screen for timing. We'll do our usual one minute walk on the spot, although again, it's great if you can be warm before you even come to this point, it does help the muscles stretch further. So I'll start off now. We we'll take our one minute, start walking on the spot, off we go. So please remember, we're gonna take one minute of walking just to get the body totally warm. So if you haven't had a chance to warm up, this is okay. Just don't go too strongly into the stretches first of all. As the five stretches progress, we can go further as you go into the stretches when you get more warmer. So, working for one minute, if you can, we'll come out to the first 30 seconds. Keep tall, keep your chest out, keep relaxed, keep breathing, and keep pumping the arms and the legs. So, last 30 seconds, let's go a little bit faster with working the knees up. That's good, keep pumping it now. Remember, the first one is a single leg hamstring stretch with the hands always supporting on the knees to make sure you can relax the muscles as much as possible. Last 10 seconds, keep going. Then it's a follow along video, so you're doing it with me if you can. That's great, doing really well. Keep breathing, and stretch number one is going to be the single hamstring. Put one leg forward, lift up tall, and we lower down. That's good. Just holding for 30 seconds on each side. Use the hands for support, lower a bit further down. We're on day five of a seven day hamstring program, which is part of the 30 days to become super flexible. Good, so lower down, almost there, 10 seconds to go. Try and relax the hamstring, relax the front of the thigh, the quadriceps, and lower down. Keep your back as tall as you can, changing legs. So one leg goes forward, lift up tall, use your hands, lower down, and most importantly, don't forget to breathe. People do always tend to hold their breath with stretching, and it limits you, so stretching is key. In the future videos, I can show you some techniques that make you go further by just controlling your breathing. So, the last 10 seconds, lowering down, single hamstring. This will be followed by the double hamstring stretch. So we'll come up, get in position. Your legs are about a shoulder width apart. Hands on knees, lower down, nice tall spine. As you can, bend forward, try and push back a bit straighter. This is one minute. This is exercise number two, stretch two. The double hamstring. Try and go lower if you can. Good, holding and don't forget, let's breathe, don't hold your breath. If you want to and you can, keep your back fairly long. Don't round too much, bring your hands a bit lower, legs a bit straighter. If it's too tight, just bend them slightly, or we'll ease up and go back down. Last 30 seconds now, double hamstring. Number three is gonna be the ledge or the chair single hamstring. So we're gonna go get our chair. I'm gonna hold that for 30 seconds each side. Just finish off this one, number two. Double hamstring lower if you can. Maybe hang, but don't compromise your back too much. Keep that bottom out and back nice and long. Just a few more seconds, push those legs a bit straighter. Keep breathing, always with control, and then come slowly up. Okay, good, so let's go and grab our chair. So we're gonna take stretch number three, which is the single hamstring. Put our phone on the chair, lift up tall, and lower down. Okay, good. Just lowering down, keeping nice and relaxed. Single hamstring. This is day five of seven of the hamstrings. Lift up long and lower down. Your ultimate goal with comfort is your chest to be flat 
on your knee. Okay? But again, it's not a competition, it's just trying to improve how you stretch, uh, how your flexibility, changing sides, and you'll find some days you're tighter than other days, depends how you've slept, depends on what you've done exercise-wise, if you've done lots of leg exercises, it could be quite tight, uh, could be just generally you, you're sore from doing lots of walking or standing a lot, but either way, you judge it on the day and you go as far as you can, and over a period of time, you will become super flexible. So lift up, this is number three of five today, the single chair or ledge hamstring, last couple of seconds. We're gonna lie on the floor now for number four, so we'll move out of the way, go straight to the floor, make sure you've got a cushion or pillow for your neck, and let's do straight into our single leg hamstring. Relax the muscle, bring your hands high up the leg, good, and nice and steady, keep the other foot flat on the floor, your back is nice and supported here, so it's totally safe, pull it back a bit further if you can, and just keep breathing the whole time. 30 seconds on each leg, the laying single hamstring stretch. Good, nice and relaxed. Don't tense it, you're fighting your own tension. Changing sides, so 30 seconds, good. Because you're doing so many stretches, you don't really have to do much more than 30 seconds, but in that 30 seconds, try and pull, stretch it a bit further if you can, without causing pain, just a strong stretch. Single hamstring, this will be followed by our new one, the number five, the sitting up against the wall, leg over, single hamstring, very intense stretch coming up. So number four, just finishing off the lying hamstring. A few more seconds, good. Then we take just from there, we're gonna come up, good. And then we're gonna take from there, both legs out in front of you, one leg over, lift up, and we lower down. Okay, good. So this is number five, very, tight, very intense, very tight stretch for the leg that is below, lift up tall, you can gently pull forward and then come back if you wish, another technique, but don't bounce violently, just gently pull. Got last three seconds coming up, then we're gonna change legs, and then changing sides. Okay, so we're gonna lift up and then lower down. Okay, so keep it going. Almost there, other leg, this is dead straight. Relax the thigh muscle, lift up tall, and either pull forward and ease back, or hold it in a static stretch both options are good. A little gentle pulse and back, pulse and back, or just holding statically, but not fast, nice and controlled. Last 10 seconds of day number five on the hamstrings, holding a few more seconds. Keep your spine as tall as possible, keep breathing, relax both muscles, good, and then we come up. Good, so there we have it. There's a day five, and I'll see you for day six tomorrow.